Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. What it would seem in the last 24 hours, the Australian dollar did attempt to take the challenge to the downside but found bargain hunters, or should I say more to the case, the bulls did defend the level of 78.35.45 after printing a low of 78.34. It is viewed at the present time that the market may try and attempt to recover and look up towards the region of 79.35 as minor. Any rally, or, or should I say sell into strength, as I feel the market will test the downside. Now, yesterday it was widely expected that the RBA would start this year of 2018 by leaving key cash rates at and change for the 17th month at 1.5%. With inflation running below 2% and close to its forecast, there is no urgency at this stage to raise rates. But however, this could all change on one number. And if we do see a slightly better CPI number coming in, is the fact that we should see um, a further potential rate hike, which I'm calling at the moment in April. Also to note, though, is from the 60-day moving average, is uh, what I call uh, uh, hedge funds or CTAs. It is viewed from there that uh, of 77.70 could see either a, a defensive move or a bearish move if broken. So do keep an eye on that level in the short term in case we do see a break, as this would give further implications down towards 75 cents. But at this stage, let's play with the intraday and with the range being at this stage of base of 35.45 on 78 with a top of 39.35. Well, overnight, the euro did confirm that bearish shooting style and took the challenge lower from 123.50, however, still respecting the late January lows around the 123 area. At present, we are seeing a, a struggle in the US dollar to recover, but nevertheless, we shouldn't discount it as a failure as yet. The technicals for the euro are bearish. Therefore, I do expect to see a further down test with 123.45, with the objective holding to 122.65.75. Any advances is a sell opportunity towards 124.30.35. It is viewed that the market towards the top side in dollar yen should continue on over the challenge of 109.65. Any downside test should find support now at 108.75, with some firmer support at 108.15.25. From the technical implications, I do expect to see further bullish upside tests. Well, the pound overnight did take a stab to the downside and reached its target of 138.5. As you can see from a technical point, the market is still bearish, and I still expect to see further tests to the downside, with the target remaining around that level at 138.45.50. Any advances should find resistance now at 139.90 figure. Well, the gold took a very hard fall overnight of, of $26. And from the, the collapse, now questions whether the market can hold at 1,320. Initially, I do expect to see this level hold. I've been calling it now for the last few days. And now from the recovery, which is only minor, to 24, may see a further rise if we get a break above 28. However, a break beneath 20 would give further concerns and may see a further, further fall towards 1,314 to 1,307 to 9. To wrap up with oil, the market is still bearish and still looking towards that target of 62.60. I still hold the indicators to that negative view and reassess from there. Any of artists should find resistance around 63.75.85. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the day that's ahead.